So question two then from the 2022 advanced tire paper two, just a wee two mark question, find the exact value of this integral. Well, I'm not exactly sure what that's doing there. That's, that's quite a simple little integral because unless they just needed the marks, they needed another two marks to make up the total because that's immediately recognizable. This can be done by inspection because it's a known function just of a linear expression. That's quite clearly log. It's going to be the log of that denominator. You know, since it's linear, that means the derivative of the inner function is just a constant, so it doesn't affect anything. So you could just go straight in with that one then. Well, that'll go back to log of the denominator. So you'd really put that inside the modulus signs because you can't have the log. You can't put a negative into the log because it just blows up on you. Evaluated from 0 to 3, but get the constants right. That 4 could have come out. I wasn't writing it again, so I'll just take it out now. And because the inner function, that linear part, has got a derivative of 2, I also need to divide by that 2. Well, you get the first mark just for recognising the fact you had a log. None of the rest of it. Just for realising that was just straightforwardly the log of the denominator. So that means it's just going to be 2 times. Now just evaluate it twice. The log of, when it's 3, it'll be 7. So I can just write 7 quite safely. Minus, and when it's 0, it's 1, minus log 1. Now, either way round, that just comes to 2 log 7. Not a very good end there. I say either way round because you can either think, well, the log of 1 is 0, so that bit disappears. Or you could think, if you've got the difference in logs, that'll be the log of the quotient, log of 7 divided by 1, which is 7. So there's your final answer. Unless, of course, you wanted to rewrite that as pop that power inside and make it log of 49, 7 squared. But that will do. Now, you may have thought, well, since it's the advanced tyre, maybe you have to use one of the fancy techniques rather than just using inspection. You have to use substitution or integration by parts. So if you did think to go substitution, you'd have said, let u equal, presumably, this nasty bit. In which case, du would be, remember, du by dx, but you're going to throw that dx across, 2dx. Then change the limits, lower limit. When x is 0, u would be 0 and 1 is 1. And when x is 3, u would be 2 3s are 6 and 1s, 7. Now, carry out the substitution. But well, it's going to go from 1 to 7. Now, I want a du. To write du, I need to find a 2dx to take out, to go in its place. I've got a 4dx, I've still got 2 left. Now, I've got a du. Bottom just changes into u. And you recognise that, or you may have written 1 over u times du. Recognise that immediately as log. So you've got 2 ln u. Pop it in its wee safety brackets to be evaluated from 1 to 7. So obviously you're going to get same as before. 2 ln 7 minus ln 1. Since that's 0, that's just 2 ln 7. Now, doing it this way, you don't get any marks for all of this. You don't get the first mark until you've identified the log. Same as in the first one. And then the next mark is for getting the final answer.